is Heroes of Mavia, a brand new base builder game that I'm incredibly excited to try out. So huge thank you then for sponsoring this video and welcome to Mavia Island. They're trying to steal all the riches. So it will look familiar for sure if you've watched my channel before this game, but it has a brand new take on a lot of things and is super, super unique in many areas and I'm so excited for it. So this is like my second time going through this, but basically the strikers, you place them down, take out the turrets and then uh, obviously place them around so we can get going a little quicker on the attack. You may be wondering, well, you're kind of zoomed out it's hard to see well the full freaking zoom look at this graphics and the buildings explode dude we love explosions it's awesome <laughs> and i love their the graphics of their attack too man the animation oh my gosh let's go boom boom so first attack obviously we're on the tutorial stage so we're gonna blast through the tutorial look at the entire world dude we got like a mine over here we got some statues and fossils over here to explore you guys know me i'm a spender and they have creator codes in this game so i'll be getting one so if you want to support me it's a 20 percent boost if you use it too for real though it's free to play friendly so you don't need to be spending but if you happen to obviously it's appreciated but okay we're gonna continue the explosion now look at the, like literally it's next gen graphics it's so good and the cool thing, as like phones get better and evolve over time, this game is going to scale its graphics with new phones. So it's always going to be the latest graphics and everything, which I'm so excited for. I feel like a lot of games lack that. And what also is nice, ton of resources now. But now the big bugs, look at that, 1,500 resources. We should be able to take it down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, dude. We got like 20 strikers. <laughs> okay, now this is what I was wanting to do. Upgrade infantry factory. Gives me the Marines. They're like a little more ranged unit. And now let's just place the rest of the turrets down. We have enough gold. Forgot to place down our extra storages. We need these down here. Protect the defenses early on. Let's go farming again. Now we're ready for some big loot. So we have our Marines, which are longer range. We also have an RC car. So this one has a mortar, which destroys us. Throw on the RC car, break the wall. Essentially, I'm just going to throw on the strikers over here to take care of the mortar because that is the big threat. The Marines usually are range you put them behind the strikers but for now i think they can take the turret by itself there we go so missions early on guys are what you're gonna want to use to farm the new age graphics i just love the explosions and all the everything man all right there we go all the walls so here is where i will show you a ranked battle it's where you get trophies oh my gosh very basic Base. Yo, they don't even have a turret down. The leaderboard, we have Bog up there with 13,000 trophies, man. We got a long way to go. But also, I'm going to be working towards creating an alliance. See, I need 50,000 gold. So join it. It's going to be the BT1 crew. So tell them the game right now. Try it out. Support me, guys. Main thing I'm going to be going right now, placing my last gold collector down. And since I'm going to a new headquarters, I think that's the last thing I'm going to do for today. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go ham and actually build a base because I'm going to get so many new stuff on this next headquarters. All right. Striker out of range. Oh no, that actually might hit them. Oh, they lived, bro. Almost is okay. We're good there. Striker right here. Mortars are scary. They like one shot all my troops, dude. Oh no, the turret is destroying my marines because all the strikers went to the headquarters. Man, it shreds even the strikers. Okay, they clutched up. <laughs> I only had a couple strikers left. It makes me nervous for the next one. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> okay, we failed. We need to, we need to regroup. First loss. I couldn't break the wall. All right, let's try this again. Break the wall. But the mortars is the main issue. And we need that wall break. 1,000%. Okay, there we go. Now we can go in and infiltrate because they're not going to get one shot by a freaking mortar. Dude, these turrets melt everything. All right, there we go. All we needed was a wall break. Nervous for anti-air attack, though. I already got all the loot and I'm capped. So we're just going for the stars at this moment. And we got all of it. There we go. So the, the, the battles are definitely getting harder. However, the good news, an upgrade that headquarters. So not a bad day one. Let's check back in tomorrow. Day two. And look at our beautiful headquarters, man. But look at on the armory there. 43 freaking new items. You get anti-air missiles. Most of it is walls for real. But what I'm really excited for is the aircraft factory. I have enough for that right now. Go ahead and finish that. And now let's go on to the battle. But I can't wait. Literally like for alliance for battles seemingly coming soon. Firefight practice. So again, download the game, support me, and then honestly support the development of it because I'm really excited for where this future of the game goes. But to go 
the mortars. We're basically good to go, but got like double walls here. Can my cart break it? Okay. Almost broke through three there. And we're in. Okay. Now we can go and destroy everything. The Marines going. But yeah, these next few days, I really hope to get really far. Full on oil again. So we really need to upgrade that storage. But another thing I'm really excited for later on is how you can customize. Coming soon, but basically you can get skins for them. It completely changes them, gives them some different things, some different boosts. You can do that for the headquarters. Basically any building you want can be customizable with skins and everything. And uh, Myra here. Myra unlocks at laboratory level three and she's a hero. Okay. But yeah, this is where you'd manage all your skins and everything, which I cannot wait for. I think it's 50K. Dude, we're close. We now just need to upgrade our gold storages. Okay, we got our storages upgrade. Rally point done. I will be doing rank battles a lot soon. It's just, I'm really liking the resources we're getting right now. So we're going to train up the new Skyfire troops that we have. We got to try them. Jetpacking, bro. Right over the walls. That guy has swag, man. Oh, they do have an air defense. Besides the air defense, we can drop them all around. Keep the, the ones that can't touch the ground. Oh, he, he does get one shot by the air defense okay well duly noted because now we just got to take care of the air defense with, uh get our strikers in so we still need the marines can't do all air strikers unless they have no air defense dude they're gonna love the jetpacks man that's so sick there we go magnificent dude they're so strong i love it we're gonna get twenty thousand gold for this next attack yo this guy has a hero level 20. Okay, I actually watch this. This is hilarious. Watch him get killed. Watch the death animation. That is so sick. I mean, it's, it's sad, but it's sick. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that hero is thick. We need to get that. Okay. So tough battle. It's getting hard right now. Okay, we lost. Dude, we have 16 of my guys. Strikers going in. Marines. Everything. We finally got to the air defense. Just break the walls and get there. We took out the hero. It only took three tries. Dude, the air troops coming so clutch. There we go. Now a hard place, but let's do some upgrades now. And now we've placed everything down for our headquarters. I'm going to focus on upgrades, but we can save up enough eventually to get the headquarters. I don't know if we'll get that today because we I want to have a stronger base, but we can try. All right. So the missions, I'm able to beat them and move on with the one stars, but they're getting tough. Like right now, look at this one. They got the hero, the air defense over here, the mortar. That, that would be really tough for me to deal with. So we might as well just go destroy some fools in ranked right now with my sky fighters. And what's nice about this is I don't have to drop like all my troops at all i could drop like a couple of them and we're basically good to go and i'll farm this way and tell the bases get harder all right so we got an actual decent base here look at the walls and everything but it's kryptonite no air defense so the sky fire is going and just wreck everything well in the meantime why don't all look at the scenery bro so you see these buildings over here i wonder if this is where we like more missions and events are coming as well but dude just like the zoom is so crazy all the graphics and the shadows bro you can see Oh my gosh, mobile games don't have shadows like that. That's crazy. And there we go. See, we're at over 200 now. I think we'll save up to get our alliance tomorrow, but we have a decent amount of oil. Thing looks amazing, dude. So we'll check back in tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is day three. <laughs> I've been playing for 30 minutes. I thought I was recording. I wasn't. So essentially, gold collectors, oil storages are busted. Overnight, I got 30k resources. So I'm getting 1,800 an hour. You missed it, but we upgraded all of our storages. We can we can hold 120,000 max capacity on the gold and the oil. So now I can upgrade my headquarters. I just need to get a lot of resources. First goal, though, is to become a legend and get this alliance made. We just need that 50k gold, which we know about. However, I have got my creator code now. So you go to your profile, go to your settings. See that little up there support? Ben Tim one and it is my name one. You don't even need the all caps it. It all capitalizes for you, but it supports us for 60 days, man, which is crazy. So if you make a purchase, 20% of the purchase price goes to us. So if you guys are buying the gem packs, it helps support us a lot. So I really like that. Thank you. Here's a maybe and thank you guys as well. So again, try it out. But the main goal right now is I'm going to try and grind in trophies to get to 400 at their new league because right now the game is really new. So I'm running into bases that don't have a lot of loot where someone just started like this. And if I get higher up there. I want to find those high loot bases. So my Skyfires can just destroy them. <laughs> we have to become the best alliance in all of Mavia. All right, there we go. So we're inching our way to 400. See that? 
All right, let's go. This guy's actually got decent loot. Still only one cannon, though. So this is really good for us. Because my strikers are level two now. They do so much damage. Get the full zoom boom right there. Let's go. We're two trophies away from 400. All right, so we ranked up. This guy has air defense. That's going to be our main focus. Break that wall. We get his air defense down, we win. Okay, win condition engaged. But do we have enough time now? That took me a long time. So now I have to wait till my sky fires destroy the mortar and then we can go in. Okay, mortar down. Uh, full send everything, even my last car. So still a win. We could have got a lot more trophies though. Now there we go. We are close to that alliance. Only need like 1,200 more gold. Bro, look at this base. My Cisco 32, 50 trophies if I win. He's got two air defenses though. Yeah, that's a freeze cannon. Jeez, look at that thing. Can't wait to get this high up there to get that. It even attacks air, bro. We lost five trophies for that. That was fun to see. Oh my gosh. All right, this guy has an over... Back to my level. Actually, under my level because they don't have the air defenses. But we need to beat this guy and then we can make our alliance. And there we go. We got 50k for the alliance now. All right, we're creating one. We uploaded our own photo. We just drew that quick. <laughs> The BT1 crew, Alliance take is BT1, Swag Masters only. I am the leader, so join it. It's on open invite for right now. We can have up to 25 people. Yes, don't love the game. Please join me. I want my Alliance full and to be the best. Because right now in the Alliance, we're not, we're 99th in the US. So join me. And then it was on to day four, and I actually recorded a video with OJ and Lex, and they ended up joining my Alliance as well, which I was super happy about because Alliance battles coming down in the future. That's why you guys need to download the game right now and join my Alliance, please. But after that, in that video, we did some upgrades to our cannons to finish off the last upgrades we needed for our HQ level aside from the walls and then we got our strikers to level three which were just OP and then we were just farming the rest of the day trying to save up 120k gold to get our HQ to level four Again, I'm so pumped for the alliance, man. Oh my God, oh, actually, OJ's online. Oh my gosh, his base looks so much better from when he did, did the tribe video. Since basically yesterday, he has the sky fires though. <laughs> also during that though, figured out what's actually coming soon now. We have abandoned mines, warehouse, and look at this swag, dude. The research center, zoom. I still can't get over the graphics zoomed in. And then the, even like the clouds, my gosh, man. But goal for today, honestly, is just do more farming. And then after the mortar's down, with our new level three strikers, they wreck everything. Once, they still get like two shot by a mortar, which is crazy. But there we go. Now officially one third of the way to our new HQ level. Open up this wall. That's crucial. Now the hard part, hiding this hero. So we bring her all the way in the corner. And I want to drop just enough so I can take care of her. Now I have to drop like seven to so kill this mortar. That's the first party and then kill this over here. And a couple more on this mortar and this one. Took out the hero and now basically they need to take out this mortar. If they take out this mortar, we win. If my strikers go in there. Yes. Can you take out that air defense? And now we need to take out all the other things around. Look at this. We beat the base basically. And if we get all this loot, we're going to move on. I feel like that was pretty good. Look at the resources we got from them, man. Oh my gosh, dude. We, we don't need the damage, but we got all the resources. I guess we can move on. All right, what is this next one? So we got mortars on this side, air defense right there, but then these rockets. So those target air too? Yikes, man. Do they target air? They do, okay. <laughs> dude, they just shred my strikers in three shots and they don't miss. I mean, we're getting some loot though, but we're halfway there, but I, I, I need the brute. I honestly like how hard the missions are though. But I think we go back to regular farming. Look, look at this. Air defense, once it's down, we shred this base and we get all of it. Yeah, we're just gonna farm to 120K now. Dude, we just got cheese. This guy has one building all the way over here. However, he's the big loser because we got 24,000 from this guy in gold. We're so close, over 100K now. All right, since I don't wanna like run into a situation where I like am capped on oil like say it's a crazy base i'm gonna research boom carts four hours on the upgrade we'll save some sapphire letting it go for when we check in tomorrow it's so sad seeing all of my oil gone research our marine and we're like basically fully maxed for hq3 nice day six my gosh i should have used all my oil i mean we got thirty-six thousand back right side headquarters yes. level four seven hundred thousand for hq5 well we have 38 new items we have a freaking ice tower jeez look at that thing the thing that beat me way earlier let's go four hours on that upgrade no 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 with code bent m1 we got our sapphires which you should do again this thing attacks air as well it's insane the hero pedestal this is an amazing thing 
for defense, and it'll cost 34,000 oil to upgrade her to level two. But we got her. Let's go and attack. But another pro tip, for sure spend all of your resources overnight so it doesn't all get looted if you can. I mean, you have your collectors, it boosts you back, but it feels bad to lose most of it. So spend it all. We have unlocked a brute. He's basically like a tank, a lot of HP, 280 compared to the striker, which has 63. So I'm, I'm excited to try this guy out. Now we can like tank mortar shots. Upgrading this air defense, bro. Let's try all brutes. Dude, we stole all the resources. That's all that matters, the brutes. But I'm scared for the resources because now I can move on to the next mission. Oh my gosh, this is coming down to the wire. Can we take care of the HQ? Get all the loot. Come on. Oh, we were so close. It's fine. We got all the loot. We can move on now to Lethal Labyrinth and upgrade our laboratory. Nice. It's only hour on that. Okay, I just want to check this last mission. Oh my gosh. This honestly isn't too bad. It's a time issue. Two strikers down here for this mortar. Two brutes for this turret. Wall break for this rocket. Let's take Brutes and some Marksmen. Honestly, I can just throw down all the Skyfires. They're going to be out of range of that anti-air missile. And we're going to get all the loot. Our Brutes distracting the turret. Skyfires are going to drop if the mortar goes down. If. Ah, it didn't go down. So, unfortunately, if we went down, we had a shot with the Marksmen. Because they might have been able to survive. But, so again, as it stands, we got all the loot. I'm okay with this. 20,000 of each. I feel like the best use of the gold is to get the oil rigs upgraded first. All of them. For the passive uh, rewards. There we go. So, my production per hour is 3,200. That's really good. Now, for the leftover oil, I'm going to upgrade the aircraft factory to get the whale. So, pretty soon, the flying whale will be ours as well well which we'll see that tomorrow <laughs> Day seven, and man, plus 40k. Well, my storages must have been a lot of gold, too. But we did check in last night to start training our flying well, dude. Look at them, beasts. So, my mate, oh, there we go. Our hero has arrived. Your pedestal. So, that means we can probably use it. Let's see. Main goals today build a base, get a lot of resources. I, I want to research my sky fires because it doubles their damage, pulls the brutes for more HP. First, let's go into a rank match we're almost at 1000 trophies too this base has zero air defense so it's a good base to show you the flying whales all right they do not get targeted by ground units at all either and they are pretty freaking tanky and they drop bombs bro let's go Yo, let's do all flying whale attacks they look so cool they do a lot of damage too man oh oh and i have the hero yes 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 okay so throw her down and oh dude she does so much damage Usually storages take forever to take down. But we know that because we were trying to take her down in like the missions and everything. Even a level one here is so good. There we go, man. Not bad. We're gonna full send it here. Yes. Now the Skyfires are locked and loaded in net. Basically the flying whales are gonna be fine. Roots are dropping to all the cannons, but it's it's all good. How many of them are in there? Are there like three? But yeah, imagine like some of these hard bases because 2v2 is on the roadmap to come in the future. So imagine being able to like attack a base with a friend or have like build a base with a friend to like a double defense base. 2v2 battle system would be so cool, man. I cannot wait to like this added to the game. So like again, a lot of cool things coming down the line. Here's Amavia. So once again, download the game, support me using the link in the description down below. I'm really excited to see where the future of this game goes. Let's go. We have three star, man. Oh, and we can research the sky fires now. So they're dealing double the damage. Okay, I want to take on a mission now, but this is hard. So these are flamethrowers. My hero trains up so fast, even if it dies. So hero is going to take on this rocket here. See how much even shreds her, dude? That's wild. Then we'll do one blimp. Then we'll do one flying whale over here. One flying whale right here. And then now hero is going to do hero things, but we're going to go in with brutes on this side here. There's some sky fires as well. This will help take them out. Flying whale right here now get some more going in she has infiltrated that's big taking out the mortar and it should take out the air defense honestly i probably should have waited a little bit to drop all of my flying whales in see how they're just dropping like flies man the brutes are living through the flames oh my gosh i can drop that last guy fire didn't even need it oh dude that was a tough base a lot of resources too let's go okay we're gonna upgrade the mortar with our gold i haven't upgraded any of my walls all right we're gonna upgrade the rally point it's a big upgrade for us five more troops next goal is to get that rally point upgrade we're trying to go full offense here and the reason we went full offense is for this moment now honestly i was trying missions and we just got obliterated by the most recent base it's tough i need to upgrade more but our final tack of the day i wanted to use all flying whales going boys 
this. And then here on this side, hero's so good. So basically the highest recharge time that I've seen at least at level one is like if she dies, charge time is only a minute to use her again, which is sick. After this, we will make our base though. I know I've been procrastinating that a lot, but let's just let the whales destroy the vast ocean of buildings. Mass flying whales is probably the way to go, dude. If, as long as they have like one, one air defense. If it's upgraded, they, they probably will shred, but it's accessible. Boom, perfect. We did upgrade some walls to see. This is like the max wall for my level. Nice little steel wall. Level three is the stone. Level two is a little better wood. So you can kind of see all the different walls right there that we have so far. I didn't upgrade. I didn't prioritize those. Probably should have, but now go ahead and redesign the base. And there is my base. Protecting the hero because she's just the beast. And then ice towers slow him down. I'm trying to funnel him to this side and to the front side. So the hero can pick the side and then the mortar is protected really well. And the air missiles on the side to hopefully just defend everything. So I had a really fun time playing Heroes of Mavia. I'm so excited for the future of this game. You guys need to join our alliance right now. So download the game, use the link in the description. Again, huge take to Heroes of Mavia for sponsoring this entire video. I had a really fun time with it and I can't wait for you guys to try it as well.